Hey everybody, this is graphic designer Roberto Blake and in today's Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to type on a path. So for this, we're going to go ahead and we're gonna create a completely new document. And uh, just for the sake of uh, being uh, totally visible here on the screen, I'm just gonna make it 1920 by 1080. You can use any size you want. It really doesn't matter. Um, let's go ahead and set up a fill so that we have something interesting to work with instead of a white background. And let's jump right in. So one of the first things we're gonna need to do is we're going to need to make some uh, paths that we can type on. And the most challenging one for most of you is going to be uh, typing on a circular path. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go to my shape layer like I just did. I'm going to uh, set the path and we're just going to make uh, an ellipse here so that we can type on it. Okay, so we've done that. We're going to select our type tool. And now you see when we hover on this path that we get a different icon. Normally we would get this and we would draw a text box or we would just do live type. But here, once you get this uh, symbol, that means that you're gonna be typing on a path. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to type on a path and uh, we're just gonna go ahead and select that so that we can make it white, make it visible. Use the command shift bracket keys to make that larger. and we'll confirm that. So now you can see that we have our circular type on a path. So that's actually pretty cool. And in and of itself, uh, you know, that works out great. But let's say we wanted to go ahead and put um, an object in front of that. We're just going to go ahead and make a circle, uh, take it back to shape. I'm going to pick a color uh, we'll just go ahead and look at this and I'll line this up perfectly later but what I'll do is I'll do something like this and now they're aligned and you can see how that works out so now we have what we would need if we wanted to make something kind of like a seal or what have you. And if we wanted to get this, um, you know, bigger, we can obviously just scale that up. And as you can see, you know, the text is sitting on top of it now. And that's what we have. So that's definitely an option and we can do something like that. And that's how we would type on a circular path. We can do this with other types of paths as well. So you see, we're not even limited in what type of shape that we can use to execute this. So that's pretty cool. It, I mean, at least in my opinion, I think it's pretty cool. You guys might think it's boring, uh, but I doubt it. If you're watching this channel, you probably don't think it's boring, but you know, there we go. So totally easy to type on a path if you know what you're doing. All you have to do is create the path that you want and select the type tool and then it's pretty straightforward after that and then if you want to make corresponding shapes you just make um, a shape proportionate to whatever path that you created so really simple and clean 
doesn't take any time at all to show you how to do this and now you have a new skill that you can use in Photoshop with no problem. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, brief Photoshop tutorial on typing on a path. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer them. Like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other Photoshop CC tutorial videos on the channel. And as always, thanks for watching.